Good day, learners. Welcome to another lesson with Teacher Diane. Our topic for today is disseminating information. Are you fond of watching movies? What movie genre do you usually prefer? What elements do you usually look for from the genre of your choice? What are your standards in critiquing the effectiveness of a movie? Media in its broadest sense exists for consumption and interpretation. Any form of media aims to send messages regardless of its purpose. It is crucial for media people to accurately consider how people understand and interpret concepts so their ideas go along with the audience's expectations. It is important for the audience to establish a standardization in terms of what to expect from the media. If expectations are unclear, then it is difficult for both parties to meet halfway. For media and audience to be effectively bridged, the right knowledge on codes and convention must be properly understood. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to identify codes, convention, and message on how they affect the audience, producers, and other stakeholders, and present an issue in varied ways to disseminate information using codes, convention, and language of media by creating your own media and information presentations. In understanding media, there are codes and conventions that you have to know. See this like building blocks of all media around you. Generally, media already possess a default in itself. There are three types of media codes, namely symbolic codes, technical codes, and written codes. Symbolic codes. These are codes that are social in nature. This only means that these codes exist outside media product themselves, but would be understood in by audience in general. For example, seeing somebody receive a red rose in a film would mean that there is a romantic relationship going between the main characters. This is exactly similar to giving someone a red rose in real life. Some examples of this media are the following. Setting, mise en scène, acting, and color. Setting, known as the time and place of the narrative. The setting describes where the story or a specific scene took place. It can be as big as an open space or as small as a room. It can even be a created atmosphere or frame of mind. Mise en scène. In the world of media, mise en scène is a French term that means everything within the frame. It also refers to all the objects within the frame, the way they are arranged. To analyze this, you should look into the media set design, costume, props, staging, and composition. Acting. In media, actors portray a variety of characters that contribute to character development, creating tension or interpreting the narrative. And its various aspects, you have to look at the following. Dominant color, contrasting foils, and color symbolisms. Technical codes. The second kind of codes are specific color. In media, color has strong cultural connotations. As a student analyzing the use of color in media and its various aspects, you have to look at the following. Dominant color, contrasting foils, and color symbolisms. Technical codes. The second kind of codes are specific to a media form and do not live as a separate entity. To help you analyze this, look at the different camera shots and their connotations in film and photographs. You have to remember that these may mean nothing to you or the general audience outside of those forms. These codes include camera work, editing, audio, and lighting. Camera work. How the camera is operated, positioned, and moved to achieve certain effects is also important in analyzing media. These include positioning, movement, framing, exposure, and choice of lens. Editing. Another important consideration in studying media is editing. It is the process of choosing, manipulating, and arranging images and sound. Generally, it is done for graphic edits, rhythmic edits, spatial edits, and temporal edits. Audio. Using sound expressively or naturalistically also plays a role in media. Its three aspects include dialogue, sound effects, and music. Lighting. Manipulating light, either natural or artificial, to selectively highlight specific elements or certain scenes is also one of the important elements of media. These elements of lighting include quality, 
direction, source, and color. Written codes. A type of code that is written usually includes formal written language used in media. Similar to technical and symbolic codes, written codes can be used to interpret a narrative and communicate information regarding a character. Also, it can convey issues and themes emergent within the media product. Examples of these codes are printed and spoken languages. Conventions. To use media codes in some sort of a norm where it is accepted by everybody, there has to be a convention. These are closely connected to what the audience expects from media. Examples are form, story, and genre. Form conventions. Form conventions are the distinct ways the audience expects codes to be arranged in media. Example of these expectations are the title of the film at the beginning or the credits at the end. In printed media, it is expected that newspapers will have masthead or a banner story as the most important news than the sports news usually at the back. Mobile games usually begin with a step-by-step -step with help text on how the game works. Story conventions. These story conventions are common narrative structures and expectations from media. Examples of these are narrative structures, cause and effect, character construction, and point of view. Genre conventions. Genre conventions include the common use of tropes, characters, setting, or themes in a certain media. These are closely linked with how the audience expects from the media product. They can be formal or thematic. Now it's time for an activity. Look at the movie posters below. In your notebook, answer the questions that follow. What codes and conventions were used in these movie posters to suggest the genre of the film? Specify which one is used for each. How are the characters dressed up in the posters and their pose? What color schemes were used in the poster? How do you interpret the colors found in each? How are written codes used in each of these posters? For your next learning task, create your own media and information presentation about the latest issues or news in the society. Do this in an Oslo or Barn paper. Choose the letter of the best answer in each item. Number one, this kind of code is often seen on printed media, especially on headlines. A. Oral. B. Technical. C. Written. And the answer is C. Written. Number two, these are the generally accepted ways of doing things. A. Convention. B. Codes. C. Both A and B. Answer. A. Convention. Number three, designing messages is at risk of compromising some members of the audience because of A. Commonality. B. Similarity. C. Diversity. Answer. C. Diversity. Number four, in analyzing media messages, it is important to look at the blank message to fully understand its implications. A. Direct. B. Immediate. C. Underlying. Answer is C. Underlying. It should always be remembered that media is not only an information-giving entity, but also A and blank, which depends on capital and profit. A. Organization. B. Business. C. Stakeholder. The answer is Letter B, business. That's it for today, learners. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been Teacher Diane. See you again next time. Happy learning!